program was established to help students who have multiple barriers to earning a college degree. So, what that means is we look at students who are first generation, low income, come from single family uh, households, who speak English as a second language, who may have a disability. That's the population of young people that we try to attract. እናስተልኝ ተመልካቾቻችን ሐምራዊት ነኝ ከመላ ቲቪ ሙንጋመሪ ካሌጅ ዛሬ ያለ ነው ኤስኤስ ዲፓርትመንት ነው አሲስታንት ዳይሬክተሩን ዳክተር ሮብንሰን ከኛ ጋር አለ እሱን እናነጋግራለን ስለ ኤስኤስ ዲፓርትመንት ምን ምን እንደሆነ አጭር ገለጻ ያደርግልናል አብራችሁን ቆዩ Thank you so much Dr. Damien for agreeing to interview with us. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And can you tell me a little bit about ACES? What is ACES? Okay. So, ACES is a college pathway program and it's a relationship or collaboration among Montgomery County Public Schools, Montgomery College and the University of Shady Grove. With the idea being to make sure that students have a seamless pathway from graduating high school all the way to earning their bachelor's degree. So, uh, why did the college think it was important to form an organization like ACES? Well, it's interesting that you asked that question. So, one of the things the college was noticing was that there were a significant number of students who were coming to MC after graduating from high school, but yet they were struggling to uh, take college-level courses. And so, instead of being reactive, the college thought, well, what? Well, let's be proactive. And so, the uh, president of our college, along with the superintendent of Montgomery County Public Schools, along with the director of the University of Shady Grove said, let's jump in front of this problem. So that way we can put a program in the schools that will help students before they get to the college so they can be better prepared uh, to be successful college students. And what type of assistant do you guys give to the students? Uh, the academic coaches in the schools work with 60 juniors and 60 seniors each year. So this means that it's a small caseload because we want the coaches to be able to focus on each individual student. And so first off, coaches provide one-on-one -on -one, uh, academic coaching, one-on-one -on -one, um, just advice, just whatever the student and their family needs, the coach provides that one-on-one -on -one interaction, which is most important. We also provide test prep resources. We also make sure that students have access to scholarships. We provide college tours. Um, we provide information about um, early access programs. We provide information about financial aid. Um, we provide information about just the college application process. Anything that families need information about, the coach and the program is there to support them. And do the students need to go to Montgomery College in order for you guys to help them? Absolutely not. And so the program was designed to help students earn a bachelor's degree. However, um, there are additional benefits if a student chooses to go through the pathway, which is what we encourage. Students who go through the pathway obviously enter ACES program their junior year of high school and they have an academic coach there. Upon transitioning to Montgomery College, they have an academic coach there who will work with them as well. And then if they choose to transfer to the universities at Shady Grove, they will have an academic coach there. In addition to that, there are ACES scholarships and other funding that students can apply for to help them pay for college. So. While students do not have to go to Montgomery College and University at Shady Grove to be in a program, there are great benefits to doing so. If you can tell me briefly, what are the universities at Shady Grove? So University at Shady Grove is actually a fully functioning transfer campus. This means nine Maryland colleges on one campus. So essentially, uh, a student can apply to go to University of Maryland, but attend the Shady Grove campus. And it's about a quarter of the cost because students don't have to pay all the fees that are associated with the large campus. Now there's not dormitories, but they don't have to pay for a meal plan. So it's just thousands and thousands of dollars. And it's right here in your backyard. And they have a bus route that goes directly there, no matter where you're coming from in the county. So it's a way for you to easily access higher education and you will earn the same college degree as if you went to the main campus. It is an amazing institution. Um, and I think the other part that's important for people to know is University of Shady Grove also has smaller class sizes. So students who need extra attention uh, to detail with their professors, that's available. They also have counselors. They also have financial aid advisors. 
Everything they need is right there on one campus without them having to go to the main campus. And the other important part is that one of the main premises of universities at Shady Grove is to make sure that when these young people graduate from college that they actually can find a job in Montgomery County. Which means that universities at Shady Grove have partnered with multiple businesses and organizations and corporations in Montgomery County to create a pathway from bachelor's degree to employment. So it is just all around um, a wonderful institution and great opportunity for the people who live in Montgomery County. Who is eligible for this program? Anyone can apply to the program. Let me be clear about that. However, the program was established to help students who have multiple barriers to earning a college degree. So what that means is we look at students who are first generation, low income, come from single family uh, households, who speak English as a second language, who may have a disability. So any barrier you can think of that may prevent someone from earning a college degree, that's the population of young people that we actually try to attract to our program. Here's another important part. Um, we don't have a GPA requirement to get into our program, and that's by design. Because you could have a student who may be a 4.0 student, but maybe their parents are immigrants. And so their parents, while the student may work hard, that doesn't necessarily translate into knowing how to navigate the college process, right? And then on the other side of that, you may have a student who maybe one of their parents is college educated, but for some reason a parent is unable to connect it with the student, the student is struggling in school, and then they need some form of different encouragement. And so, and then within that, obviously each student has their story. So we try to make sure that we don't weed students out because life happens to all of us. What's the process of applying? So what happens is that each school has a recruitment process. And each recruitment process is different. Some schools do large assemblies where they promote it to all the students in the school. Some of the coaches go into classrooms. Um, we also send out postcards to every uh, sophomore um, that attends the ACES school. Um, we do these, um, it's, it's called Connect Ed, where there's a phone call that goes home to the family saying, hey, there's this program, ACES, the application is out. So any way that we can try to promote the program and provide access, we try to do that. And then what happens is that coaches will sort of have specific times throughout the school year for students to come in and complete the application. But students can also complete the application by simply going to our website and just submitting an application uh, there. So we just try to make it really easy for everyone. We understand that um, some families may not have access uh, to technology, which is why we send things home. We, because our program has been around for a while, word of mouth is really, really important. And so we find a lot of students who, you know, their friend who was a year older than them was in the ACES program, and so they come and tell. And so it's, it's literally whatever it takes, we try to make sure people find out about this program. And how many schools did you say were involved in? So uh, we have 14 schools, and then at each school there's approximately 120 students um, on each coach's caseload. Wow, yes. this is really great. Yes. Th you, I think you gave me a very good um, description of what you guys do. Mm -hmm. And thank you for all what you guys do for the marginalized community. And thank you for agreeing to interview with us and give information about ACES. And no thank, you again, thank you again, Dr. Robinson. Thank you. Um, thank you for being a voice for the community. Thank you for being a conduit to, uh, for information because I think it's really important for marginalized populations of people to know that there are resources, and not only are there resources, but there are people. At the end of the day, we're all people, right? And, and I don't care where you come from, what your socioeconomic status is, everyone wants what's best for their child, everyone wants to be successful. And so if we have the resources um, and the information and the love to be able to expose people to that, then why wouldn't we? Yes. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Tamal Kacho Chachin, Ngidi Zare Ndayeno, ይህ ኤስኤስ የሚባለው የሁለተኛ ደረጃ ወይም ሃይስኩል ተማሪዎችን በቀላሉ ወደ ኮሌጅ እንዲገቡ ድልድይ እንዲሆን ተብሎ የተመሰረተው ፕሮግራም ጥቅሙን በዝርዝር አይተናል ልጆቻችን የ10ኛ ክፍል ተማሪዎች ይያሉ ፎል ሴሚስተር ወይም ደግሞ መስከረም ላይ የሚመጣው የመጀመሪያው ሴሚስተር ላይ ለዚህ ኤስኤስ ለተባለው ፕሮግራም አፕላይ ማድረግ ይችላል በሞንትጎመሪ ካውንቲ ውስጥ የትኞቹ የትኞቹ ሃይስኩሎች በዚህ በኤስኤስ ፕሮግራም ላይ እንደሚሳተፉ ለማወቅ 
የልጆቻችንን ትምርት ቤት ደውለን ወይም ሄደን መጠየቅ እንዲሁም ከሰር በመናየው ሊንክ ላይ መመልከት እንችላለን ስለዚህ በጣም ጠቃሚ ስለሆነውና ልጆቻችን ወደ ኮሌጅ እንዲገቡ ስለሚረዳው ፕሮግራም የበለጠ ለማወቅ ከሰር በሚያዩት ሊንክ ይመልከቱ ወይም ደግሞ ከሰር በሚያገኙት ኢሜል ያድርጉልን ከሞንትጎመሪ ኮሌጅ እንመልሳለን ዝግጅታችንን ስለተከታተሉ ከልብና መሰግናለን ሐምራዊት ነኝ ከመላ ቴሌቪዥን